Hey everyone, this is Cordy with Casual EDC, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a comparison here between the Ontario Rat Number no. 2 and the Ganzo F727S. So Ganzo also makes an F27M, which is much com more comparable to the Ontario Rat Number no. 1, but for the sake of these demonstrations, we're just going to look at them as the Rat 1 and the Rat 2. So to start off, we'll just talk about the Ontario Rat 2 for a moment. A uh, very iconic budget knife for a good reason. This is D2 steel, liner lock, um, really nice action, and it's very much affordable as well. These come in at just under $40, and you can also get them in AUS 8 steel for about $25, $30, which is nice. But uh, one of the best budget knives out there, decently thin blade stock, which you can see right here, with a good grind. To a fairly thin edge and it cuts really well ergonomics are pretty good it's a little tight for my hand but not the end of the world you can always choke up here uh, fills the hand pretty well and these are really good working knives people love the ontario rat number one and number two for doing some general work the d10 on this one's a little bit light but it's not too bad at all uh, great knives all around this has a matte acid wash to it it's kind of a weird finish that came out on it, but I wasn't too worried about cleaning the blade when I did this one. So, got a little of a neat look. Acid washed liners as well. Moving on to the Ganzo 727. Uh, this is using an Axis style lock, and it has a 440C, is the blade steel. And uh, obviously, since there's no uh, liner lock, it's using the Axis lock. There's no liner here. Uh, both of these knives are using um, like nylon plastic type handles. Even on the Ontario Rat Number no. 2, you're still getting plastic, but it is a budget piece, so not much you can really complain about. Moving on with the Ganzo here, uh, the blade stock is actually thinner than the Ontario Rat Number no. 2. So I'll pull these up side by side for you to take a look at. So hopefully though, you can see the difference there and then the grind will be hard to show but because the ganzo here has a much thinner blade the grind is even thinner so comes in very thin behind the edge and is a really slicey blade um, overall the ganzo is just slightly larger than the ontario rat number no. two Let's see if i can get these both in frame to where you can kind of see the size of them all right so as you can see you got a little bit more handle actually have a little bit more blade as well uh let's see if i can set them up this way might be able to see that just a little bit better a little bigger in every dimension which i actually like about this ganzo here ergonomically i this fills my hand a lot better this area here is not as sharp as it is on the rat as you can see how it kind of hooks in right there this doesn't do it that much and that's actually way more comfortable in my hand. And my hand really locks in to the, uh, the Ganzo even better than it does on the Rat 2. Uh, the Rat 2 is running on both Phosphor Bronze washers and Nylon washers. I don't know if we'll be able to take a peek in here with the light or not. Doesn't look like it. But, um, sorry, um, this is still a new setup for me. Uh, new desk recently, so seeing what I can and can't see here on camera, but this, you can kind of see the washers in there, but they also have some nylon in there, just very thin nylon washers, as well as the phosphor bronze. And the Ganzo is actually running on bearing. So it's really smooth and there's no blade play. It drops shut completely on its own. Super smooth. Um, it's smoother than any Benchmade I've ever had. And uh, that's not me trying to blow smoke up uh, up for Ganzo here, but uh, the use of bearings on an Axis Lock style knife makes for a super smooth deployment and a super smooth close. Uh, it's locked up really reliably with no issues. And um, yeah, it's a very comparable piece to the Rat number no. 2. Uh, not to mention that this was $24.00. On Amazon compared to the 38 that this was on Amazon when I ordered the two of them 
So if budget's in your mind, uh, Ganzo does make an option for you. But if you're going to buy one, I really do suggest you buy the Ontario just to stick with an original company, original design, better steel. It's Yeah, it's going to cost you more, but it's not quite double the price. Uh, like I said, about $38, about $24. So you're looking at 14 extra dollars, maybe 15, depending on what the prices are exactly and when you want to pick them up. But you get some different color options for this one. Here you have this bluish gray uh, plastic, and they also have a carbon fiber one for a few dollars more, I believe. But these are budget knives here, and they're not going to perform like crazy, but it made for a really nice little piece here. And I was pleasantly surprised to see how it compared and stacked up to the original Ontario Red. But overall, um, it's very close to the Rat 2, but obviously it has its differences. Uh, there's less hardware going on with the Ganzo in terms of body screws. You have four of them on the Rat versus two of them. On the Ganzo here, which you can see standoffs, and then we'll flip to the pocket clip, both using three hole clips. Um, the Rat, I believe, is compatible with the Benchmade style clip. The Ganzo, I know, is not. The holes do not line up. So aftermarket clips for the Ganzo probably aren't going to happen, but you will be able to find them for your Rat. I really hope you guys uh, like this little bit of a comparison here. I know it wasn't crazy in-depth or anything, but I did just want to show this off. Uh, like I said, not endorsing companies who make clones and who use designs that are stolen. But these are knives that a lot of people venture into before they even find things like the Rat 1 and the Rat 2. They're looking at cheap knives on Amazon. They find Ganzo knives. They pick a design. And then they find out that design was stolen or heavily inspired in some cases buy other knives so if you are in the market for one of these you're just going to want to get yourself an ontario rat number one or two if you like the one better with a 3.5 inch blade or the two in this case with a three inch blade so i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one take care